Hey, you are weary. And we're going to go outside and fly. Come on. Hang on. Just wait, wait to fly one second. You can make it till we get to the aviary, buddy. You can do it. All right, now you can, now you can fly if you want to, baby. Yeah, I know you're excited. <laughs> so I'm assuming, guys, if you are watching this video, then maybe you watched the first one when Larry was a baby. And so this will be number two, uh, Raising Larry. And a little disclaimer in this one. Uh, that's, not, that's not the disclaimer. He's really excited. Uh, well, don't eat my glasses. Don't eat the glasses. All right, let's get up here on your perch. Get up there, Hello. troublemaker. Get up there. Go on. He's just not going to cooperate. Anyway, little disclaimer on this one. Larry got really sick. Um, he wouldn't eat, became lethargic. And so real soon in this video, you're going to see uh, a friend of mine, an uh, older gentleman who's been raising birds for years and years and years. Uh, he had to crop feed Larry. So I don't recommend anybody doing this if you don't know what you're doing because you could hurt them. Uh, but in this case, he was so lethargic and so weak, we really didn't have any other choice. And so he took the, well, you'll see, he takes the feeder and goes directly into the crop. It was the only way to get liquid and food into Larry at that time. So uh, just a little disclaimer there. Anyway, let me go let this dude fly around. I hope you all enjoy the video. We'll see you on uh, the third one. So I'm going to have to voice over this part because uh, this was kind of late at night. Everybody was sleeping. I couldn't really talk. Uh, plus, I was really trying to focus on getting some food in this little guy. And for those of you who have raised a bird before, you can already tell I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but I was trying. Uh, this syringe had this really long metal uh, tip on it. And it just wasn't the right thing to be using, but I didn't know any better. So you can see, you know, he just really doesn't have a real good bob uh, reflex. When you touch the side of their mouth, they really should just start bobbing. Um, so I don't know really why he got sick. I thought maybe I'd aspirated him, but from talking to others, if I had aspirated him, you know, he would have been he would have been dead pretty quick. Birds go down here real quick, and so aspirating is getting food uh, in that side of their lungs, basically, or air sac and uh infection will start and they'll be dead you know within a matter of hours so don't believe that's what happened i don't know if it was just uh the uh, change of his mother's food to the formula not really sure but he just kept getting weaker and weaker and i did get some food in him but he just kept going downhill and downhill and became super lethargic and then I couldn't get any couldn't get any food in him at all it would just sit in his mouth and he would just kind of gag so maybe if you guys if there's anybody watching who does have a lot of experience you know maybe you have some ideas or you know remedies or what have you so feel free to put those in the comments below so uh, I took the metal tip off of it here in just a little bit and try it that way and that worked much better i ordered some different syringes after this and uh, sorry my big stupid arms are the way but you can see i removed that metal tip and now just giving it to him with the plastic syringe seemed to work a lot better he did take it and he did eat um, and i never heard him aspirate i even took a stethoscope and put it to his back and didn't hear any fluid or any raspiness uh, so again not real sure what happened but he did have kind of like a I thought might it might have been a compacted crop at first just the way he was doing that gagging reflex because I've had chickens do that before they get stuff just they eat one mine in particular ate a bunch of old wet straw and it got in the crop and just 
got tight and she couldn't pass it and that's a compacted crop and they'll give you that kind of like they're trying to burp or either they're looks like maybe they're choking they'll stick their head out and stretch their neck trying to get that material through so i thought that might be what happened to this guy but don't believe that was the case either however his his crop was super tight uh when i got him out of the nest <clears throat> excuse me so not real sure but nonetheless he's doing fine today and again i'm just showing this just because if anybody else has a similar situation maybe it'll maybe it'll help them out so in a minute um the video is just going to kind of switch to me taking him to my buddy's house to have him crop fed um but you can see his crop super full there and uh, I don't have a lot of video of him being super lethargic just because I was super worried about him versus filming. So anyway, here's the uh, clip where we take him to my bud's house to uh, get him fixed up. Just to warm the uh, the syringe. Yeah, that's a fancy one. Great day. And Let's see, how does it have a CC mark? It doesn't. Yeah, it does. Oh, it's hard to read it. It is. I can see the ML side, but. I reckon that's 10 I, right there and 20 there. I yeah, would okay. So. I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to just it at 10. go to about 10. Yeah, that's okay. In a hot shot. And see, you just slide it and keep it over to the side. Okay. And it just. See, it went just, it's just as easy as it can be. You can feel it down in this little crop. Okay. Yeah, he's not just he wants to take it. Look at there. See, now, see you, are you holding him pretty steady? Because mm -hmm. I, I would worry if he, he did. Well, try well to if he was stronger, he would there. do that. Uh, but but he's just weak. See, he has shut his eyes now. Yeah. But for that Pedialyte, it's just like you just. It's like if you understand that you're not trying to put it in a tube. Right. It's just there's. It's just skin next to muscle. So and you, you, are, and you want to keep it to the side so you don't hit that middle slit in that tongue. Right. Now, are you trying to point the tip out just a little bit to ride the skin? No, I just I just keep it over to the side. Just okay. See. Now, see if I pull it, you you could. Well, at least you got that kind of response, big boy. He didn't like that. Mm -mm. Well, that's good. Yeah. Now, I, I don't know. You can feel with the tip. Yes. Going down, oh, going yeah. that, down. Yeah. Now feel it? Yeah. Yeah, see? So we're just going to put him another 10 in there. Now, where? It, yeah. how far down does the slit? Oh, the slit. Go. Like, oh, it's, it's it, just like right right in. Okay, so where that? Right in here. Right in there. F f feel, feel. Uh, you, you feel that? Okay. That's kind of his trachea oh, yeah. as it goes to the tongue. Okay. So that slit's up pretty high. I could pull your picture up on you. On, I'll, on, I'll on research it. Show it okay, sorry for the voiceover again. I'm sorry that was so short, but we were really just trying to learn and not really super concerned on getting the footage. I had a friend hold my camera for me, so. But 30 minutes later, man, the little dude was better. And all we did was replace the water with Pedialyte and, you know, use the same amount of formula. And when my friend gave him that that little injection, I mean, it was really a miracle. 30 minutes and he was back to normal. So I guess he was just dehydrated. I really don't know. But from here on out, uh, the little guy just did great. Are you going to fly away? Huh? Where do you think you're going? Huh? 
Huh? You can't fly yet. <laughs> you can't even walk yet. I begin to pass out, and my head hit the wall. Boom! Yes, sir. Come over here, Larry. Okay, Larry, you hungry? I've learned uh, a trick with him. Uh, really, just take your two fingers and get right there on the, the lips, if you can see that. And then he'll start pumping, see? And he turns his head sideways. So I'll just try to keep this in the corner of his mouth. I won't set him. He pushes all the mulch away to get down to the heating pad. And then he slips and slides when I'm trying to feed him because he gets so excited. All right, here you go, buddy. Get right in there. And then he starts pumping. I start pushing. And then I'll quit so he can swallow and take a breath. He took about 20 cc's then. <laughs> then he always shakes his butt and shoots out a turd rocket. All right, you want some more? Now I let him rest for just a little bit. Let me go in again, but he stops pumping after that first um, feeding for whatever reason. I don't understand. Maybe if you guys know, you could comment, but I mean, I'm hitting all the triggers and uh, well, he was kind of doing it that time. He just kind of gets lazy after the first initial dose. Here you go, buddy. All right. Come on. Here you go. Turn your head sideways. All right. There you go. And I just try not to feed him too much at a time, so that was only like 10 cc's. And then I just check his crop. <coughs> make sure I don't get it too, too full, but he needs to probably another 30 cc's. Here you go, buddy. There you go. That's good, boy. Is it good? Hmm? Is it good? He's got a lot of feathers coming in. Pretty black down here and obviously yellow and orange. It's going to be a pretty bird. It's got every color of a rainbow. All right, you want some more? Huh? You want some more? So they have like little rubber lips. Right, right now, on the top, and so, so he's wanting to feed. He's just biting on my thumb, so I kind of use my thumb sometimes, just depending on how he's wanting to eat. I'll put my thumb in his mouth a little bit, and that will trigger him to start pumping, which is the up and down head movement, which is natural for the birds. Okay, we'll just go in the corner there. Give him another ten. Sometimes I just kind of keep my finger right there on the tip, just because he gets so excited, he'll fall over. So I'll just keep my finger, just kind of hold him up a little bit. Check your crop. Yeah, you still need a little bit more. All right, ready? There you go. Good boy. Swallow it on down. So we're at uh, 60. He's had 60 cc's. Need about another 10. 
and you'll be good to go. You ready? Let me do this side this time. There you go. Slow it down. Good boy. And I don't like to overfill them. I'd rather feed them more often than overfull because the chance of them laying down and pressing their crop, um, you know, they could aspirate. I got to clean them up a little bit, but I was going to see if I could show you guys his crop and what I'm feeling is that right there. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we just want to make sure that it's not, it's like a water balloon. Just want to make sure it's not too, too full. And that's about right, right there for him. So he can chill out now and probably go back to sleep. But um, he's doing really good. He's eating well. He's standing up, as you can see. Get you a little closer. <clears throat> Say hey, Larry. So he's doing really good, growing super fast. And I uh, got lots and lots of feathers coming in. He loves it when I scratch under his wing. He'll just roll over like a dog almost and bet you scratch him. What do you think, Larry? Hmm? Larry's trying to learn how to walk. And, uh, concrete's plenty, plenty of grip to it, but he's having a little trouble. <laughs> Stand up. Boy, you could do it. Can we get back in your box already? No, you don't. You want to stretch out. Larry had to go uh, to a wedding with us two hours away. So he's been in the car for two hours, and, uh, I'm sure he's glad to be out. So I figured I'd bring him here to the greenhouse. It's nice and warm in here. We've got the other birds watching. Bertle's checking him out. Scarlet's wondering what in the world's going on. And uh, there's just trying to walk around a little bit. I gotta get that feet under you, boy. So he's glad to stretch out, and I am too. So we're gonna let him walk around a little bit, get his balance. Stretch those wings out. He was standing in the car pretty much, not the whole way, but I bet half of it. So it's got to be good for his balance. And now he gets on flat ground and can't walk. So let him play around a little bit, get some exercise and burn some energy. He's using those wings for balance. Look at this, Larry, a new toy. Yeah, play with a new toy. So let him play a little bit and then uh, be feeding time. All right, Larry? Yeah. Larry's parents are sitting on the perch out here together in the sun. We'll see if they stay still long enough. There they are. So that is uh, Dusty, the blue and gold on the left, and Samantha, who's a scarlet macaw, on the right. And those are Larry's. There's Larry's parents. So, Larry's gonna have some gorgeous colors to him. I can't wait to see what all the color combos look like. It's gonna be a beautiful bird.
This is just another pet warming pad. I've never used this one, so I've got to monitor it and make sure it doesn't get too hot. And I'm gonna put it back here. And I'll cover up that cord with something later because he will be chewing on it. I want to attempt to put this in the bottom. I'm trying to find something to give him traction, so I'd love to know what you guys use. If y'all put it in the comments below. I would appreciate it because there's a little nail to go in there. I just took my knife and kind of guard it up a little. So he could get some traction. I think I'm actually gonna take this, lay it out. So, so he can just kind of get up right there and get warm. And I can keep him from pooing all over the thing. This is removable so he can wash it. And of course, while I'm videoing, the birds outside just want to go insane like normal. I was using the wood chips, if y'all remember in the beginning, and I thought maybe that might have contributed to his sickness. I thought maybe he might have eaten one and it got hung up in him. I don't think that was the case because um, my buddy said that if he did swallow one, then he'd be able to feel it in his crop you know, by kind of just rubbing around when he's empty. And uh, we didn't feel it, so I don't think that was the case. There you go. Yeah, that's one. I'm gonna mix you up some food. So I'm gonna turn the hot water on. And rinse his syringe. This is something I got off of Amazon. 150 milliliter syringes. The only thing about it, this gets dry, this o-ring. So I've been taking a little bit of olive oil and just rubbing it around it. I'm putting just a tea tiny a bit in here. It slides up and down really nice. If not, I mean, it's like, it gets impossible to move it because it gets so dry. Use a little antibacterial soap. I do this every time. Usually I do it in the house, but I brought him out to the greenhouse so he could walk around. We've got a cat inside, so that would probably not end well. So I brought him out here so he could stretch out a little bit and get some exercise. And it's a good place, too, to clean out his pen because I don't have to worry about getting yelled at for making a mess like I would inside. And rinse that out real good. I'll get his formula. And I go through a ton of paper towels, but they keep everything clean and sanitized. Kind of, you know, because I can lay it right here and not have to worry about it getting touching anything dirty. They're like SpongeBob. I felt like a crazy person, honestly, going up into these people's home for the weekend. The bird, but I'm gonna go to the wedding and the bird's gotta eat, so Larry had to come with. I've rinsed this out really good. Oh, I started out with KT brand, the K-Y-T-E-E. And then switched over to this one. And I can't remember the name of it. Higgins. This is Higgins. It smells like bananas. Here we go. I'm doing a one to two ratio. Yeah, it smells like a banana smoothie. And we just want to stir this up really, really good. I had to go inside and use the microwave. So I got it at like 112 right now. But by the time we get it to the right consistency, which is kind of like that, it should be to the temperature that we need. I swear to that bird, every time I say a word, he's like, all right, yeah, he's filming. Just yell, everybody. So, see, we're still at 113. Blow it. I may add a little bit more water too. That'll help cool it down. But it's just a little, Larry doesn't do well with it kind of thick like this. 
almost seems like it chokes him a little bit. But I like to get it pretty runny. He seems to do a lot better with it. That should be good. And hopefully the temperature should be about right. Still a little too hot. A few more stirs. This should be good. One hundred six, one hundred eight is what I like. Well, I know it's not going to burn him. One hundred nine, one hundred eleven. Still, of course, it's not going to cool down because I'm trying to film and show you guys this, so it'll not cooperate. Okay, now we're good. 109, I move the needle all around, make sure we don't have any hot spots anywhere. So 109 is good. So I'm gonna put a little bit of pan on there. Not much at all. Just like that much. And then just kinda take my finger. And put a little bit on the inside. It slides way better. Some food. And here we got air there, so what I'm gonna do is tap it. Get that air to the top. Hold my hand over it so we don't shoot it everywhere. And then get all that air out. Like that. And now we go to the I always carry a wet paper towel with me because sometimes it gets really messy. That way you can get it off of them because if you don't, that stuff hardens like concrete. All right, let's stand up. Come on, it's time to eat. And I've washed my hands prior to mixing up the food so they're clean. Yeah. Stand up. Come on. I like to get him kind of primed up. There you go. Primed up, get him stand up, get him excited. Get him ready and just go in the corner of the mouth. Corner of the mouth like that. And then I shoot it in there. That was 20 cc's. And then let him swallow it. There you go, buddy. Yeah. You messy. Really messy. And I just let him kind of come back for more. Let him process that. Get it all down. You want some more? Want some more? In the corner there. Just give him a little shot. I keep my thumb in there. It seems to help him, you know, keep bobbing. And then as soon as I shot like the next 10 cc's, I just take my thumb out and, uh, and he'll swallow it on down. It takes him a little bit. He's got to clear his throat and his mouth out. Yeah. I want to rush him so we don't choke him and aspirate him. That would be horrible. So, just give him his time. Let him eat his dinner. Yeah. Come on, stand back up. Come on, stand back up. Some more. You guys stand up. I like for him to stand up because he can get kind of vertical and it goes down easier. But this cardboard's not working all that great. There you go, good boy. Yeah, good boy. And I keep checking his crop. Um, he's only about a quarter full right now, but if I'm gonna get that thing too tight, it's like a water balloon. And um, get it too tight, and he may, it may uh, regurgitate, and he could asphyxiate on that. All right, ready for some more? Ready for some more? Come on, stand up, there you go. Okay. There you go. Slow it down. Good boy. He's taken 45 cc's or milliliters so far. And 
And I'll just let him rest. Take it at his pace. Alright, you want some more? And I kind of wait for him to stick his head up like he's doing now, then I know he wants some more. Shoot a little bit more. Take my thumb out. And he swallows it right down. Let's show him your crop, baby. This is what we're filling up. Is this crop on the front of his body there. I know, I know. Calm down, calm down. I'm just showing. So this part right here, that's his crop. We got a mosquito in here, Larry. We're gonna go back inside after this, Larry, because I don't want mosquitoes biting you. All right, you want a little bit more? Do you? you want a little bit more? Huh? You want some more? getting kind of full now. I think we can handle about another 10, 20 cc's if he wants it. If he doesn't want it, I don't make him take it. Yeah. So I'll just kind of tease his mouth a little bit. When he cocks his head sideways like that, I know he wants a little bit more. There you go. There you go, big boy. Yeah. What do you think, buddy? You want some more? I think he's getting about full. So he's taking 70 so far. I'll give him a minute to see if he wants any more. Another little shot? I think he does. Yeah, he does. Okay. That's probably all I'm going to give him right now is 80. Because his crop's kind of full and I don't want to risk him uh, regurgitating. Right, bud? Right. Is that good? Yeah? I hear you. All right, let's go inside. And uh, we got your other cage cleaned out now. We'll put you in it. And uh, keep these mosquitoes away. Ha <laughs> ha